back. We're hungry. We are in the beautiful coastal town of Puducherry. Today we're going to bring you an eclectic mix of cuisines, from French colonial cooking all the way to delicious Chetanad food. Puducherry is known for its specialty French foods, with of course an Indian touch thrown in. It's a magnificent little town with some quaint, picturesque scenery, as you're going to be able to see right now. There's a lighthouse right behind us. There's some kind of restaurant over there, and here is the beautiful, beautiful Bay of Bengal. How many bees in that? Three. <laughs> Four. Bees. Beautiful, beautiful Bay of Bengal. Ah. <laughs> Enough with all this top foolery. Follow us while we go get some food. Bring your plates. Beautiful tree-lined streets called Rues. Policemen in a red kepi or French hat. Bakeries, colonial architecture, a French school. You'd think we were in France. Yes, and the doggy poo on the street would give you an idea that we are. But where are we? We're in Puducherry. And we're going to head straight for breakfast without any delay. We've heard of a beautiful place called Satsanga, Indian name, which does some really nice French food. Let's go find out. Bonjour, mon ami. Filet mignon, gay Paris, Zinedine uh, Zidane. Uh, That's all the French I know. But what I can tell you is, we're standing under Satsang, which is supposed to be the live, kicking, throbbing, happening, flooded place for breakfast in beautiful Pondicherry. And Rocky is determined that for the duration of our time here in Puducherry, we are going to mangle the French language in every which way possible. Well, because if you look at it, frankly, Imagine what the French would have done to Tamil when they came here. This is the time that we get our revenge. So we are on La Bordunay Street and we're going to go in and have some breakfast. Uh, après vous, si vous plaît, monsieur. Merci, mon ami. Sacre bleu! Désolé, There is nobody here. It is empty. All the legends we heard about people thronging to Satsang for breakfast are a lie. <laughs> now, the reason the Satsang Cafe is fairly empty right now, or completely empty right now, is the fact that A, the peak season is June and July here at Puducherry, so we're not really in peak season. And it's a little later in the day than traditionally breakfast time. We've all heard about the early bird catching the worm, but that's not what we came here to eat, so we've come and taken our time. And now that Rocky and I have arrived, we're a crowd all by ourselves, and we're going to dig into the food and do justice to it. Yes. So kindly keep watching as we have a discussion in French. L'ouvre voulez-vous? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to answer that question on grounds that it might incriminate me. Not that we mean to be offensive, we just are. <laughs> There's a wonderful laid-back atmosphere over here and that translates into the service as well but as soon as I say that, here comes the breakfast. Wow! So here we have a nice small breakfast to start with. Some fried eggs and some bacon. One sliver off, a blink and miss situation. There's some kind of omelette over here which we'll find out later what it is. What have you got there? I've got crepes. 